Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and you're watching the detailed camera review of the new smartphone from OnePlus, the OnePlus 8 launched recently. The new OnePlus 8 comes with a triple camera setup with 48 megapixel primary camera and also a 16 megapixel selfie camera. So let's dive deep into the camera to see how it performs and how improved it is when compared to the OnePlus 70. If this is your first time here, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. Now coming back to the review, let's first have a look at the hardware offered on the OnePlus 8. In terms of the camera hardware, the OnePlus 8 packs a triple rear camera with 48 megapixel primary camera with f1.75 aperture and Sony's IMX586 sensor. You also get a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and a macro sensor. There is also LED flash included. There is both electronic image stabilization and optical image stabilization included for the primary camera. The front camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with f2.2 aperture. So let's find out how the camera performs. First, let's have a look at the video quality. The phone can shoot 4K videos in 30 FPS and 60 FPS and the quality looks good. There is definitely an improvement in terms of the video quality compared to the OnePlus 70. The important thing to note here is that the contrast issue on the OnePlus 70 seems to have fixed with the OnePlus 8. The video quality is good with good sharpness levels. The 1080p resolution also looks good and supports both 30 and 60 FPS. All the video options are supported by stabilization which is available for 4K 60 FPS as well. While the video colors are a bit vivid, the dynamic range is good and overall we are quite happy with the improvements in the video department. So this is the ultra wide angle camera sample taken with the one plus eight uh, so you can uh, see how good uh, the ultra wide angle camera shots have come uh, you can also uh, judge uh, how good the sound quality is uh, on this uh, video you can also see that there is a stabilization offered for the ultra wide angle lens so this is the super stabilization mode on the one plus Eight. so this can record both in 1080p at 30fps and 4k 30fps so you can judge how good uh, the stabilization is on the super stable mode turned on another option is to shoot in 1080p and 4k with movie mode turned on where you get the 21 is to 9 aspect ratio for videos there is also electronic image stabilization for the movie mode The phone can also shoot slow motion videos in 240fps and 480fps with 1080p and 720p resolutions respectively. Now moving on to the photos. The daylight shots taken with the 48 megapixel camera came out well. The colors are vivid and the sharpness levels are good. As we mentioned before, OnePlus has definitely fixed the contrast issue on the OnePlus 70 and images looks good on the OnePlus 8. The dynamic range is also very good. While colors are good, it can slightly be vivid at times, but it isn't oversaturated. There is good amount of details even when you zoom into the pictures. There is also dedicated 48 megapixel mode, which takes images in higher resolution, but we did not see any major difference here. There is also auto HDR mode available, and this is the best option to go with. Overall, OnePlus 8 has improved in daylight shots compared to the OnePlus 70. Now the 16 megapixel ultra wide angle shots came out pretty decent. While it's not as good as a primary camera, it is still usable. The colors are pretty good on the ultra wide angle lens, but the dynamic range doesn't seem to be as good as the primary camera. The close up shots taken with the OnePlus 8 camera was good and it had good details and great sharpness cells. Once again, color reproduction isn't accurate and it, is, it has a tendency to go with slightly vivid colors. The focusing speed was also good and we did not have any issues here. The phone has a 2 megapixel macro sensor and this is probably one of the disappointing aspects of the camera. OnePlus has opted for a macro sensor instead of the telephoto lens on the 70 and the performance of the macro sensor is strictly average. The colors are muted and sharpness levels are integrated. 
Now moving on to the portrait shots. We felt that the portraits are really good. This is once again major upgrade in terms of the quality compared to the 70. The skin tones are good and the sharpness levels are also impressive. The edge detection is once again accurate. Next moving on to the low light captures. With f1.75 aperture, the phone can take some good images in low light conditions. Here again you can see noise is reduced compared to the OnePlus 70. In artificial lighting condition, it does a pretty good job overall. Even when light drops further, OnePlus 8 does a decent job in bringing uh, images with lesser noise levels. The low light images are sharp as well. There is night mode on offer which definitely brings in more details and sharper images. Now moving on to the selfie camera. The 16 megapixel shooter can shoot some decent selfies with good details and sharpness. The dynamic range is also good. But having said that, it was a mixed performance as some selfies turned out to be too whitish in nature. We turned off the beauty mode since we like selfies without the beauty mode. Since selfies are more of a personal choice, you can judge based on the clarity. The phone also comes with portrait mode and here again the edge detection is good. Overall, the selfie experience on the OnePlus 8 is a mixed bag. So this is the front facing uh, camera sample taken with uh, the one plus eight which can again record videos in 1080p resolution so you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the front camera on the one plus eight so summing up how good is the one plus eight performance in terms of the camera the one plus eight camera is definitely an improvement from the one plus 70 with good video abilities daylight shots close-up and portrait shots the macro photography was a disappointing one, while the selfie experience was a mixed bag. We expect OnePlus to fix these issues in the coming update. So what do you guys think about the camera on the OnePlus 8? Do share in your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off with a camera review of the OnePlus 8. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.